I read something very interesting on Seth Godin's blog some time ago. It was about the difference between alcohol and cannabis marketing. You see, when alcohol brands first came out, and this was, you know, early in the days of mass media, so you had things like print, you had things like TV, there was very, very little competition. In the sense that there were maybe four or five big alcohol brands, very few of them could actually afford to be on TV. And that was mass media. That was how you reached out to tons and millions and millions of people. And that's how we have all these famous alcohol brands that still stand the test of time. But when cannabis came out, um, things were different, right? We had the internet. And while the internet seems like a mass medium, it's not actually a mass medium. In fact, the internet is just a big collection of a lot of groups. And these groups act completely separately and differently from each other. And they're all targeted in different ways. And it's also about competition, which I think Seth forgot to mention, which is you just have a lot of different, like the minute the opportunity comes out, the cost of running a business or the cost of starting a business now is really low compared to back in the day. So it's very easy for you to create a cannabis brand and then go out and start running ads on it, right? And which is why that market is so fragmented in the US today. And there isn't a big clear winner. In fact, they're now sold. I mean, cannabis is now sold the same way as, you know, some of these premium coffee brands. You have some of these high-end flavored brands that have good word of mouth going for them, but you'll never have a big famous brand for any of these guys. And that's something that we have to be okay with. And that's something for marketers to learn because in today's day and age, you have to learn how to target a niche audience and be okay with with not being like a massive brand that every household knows about.